Dean Unglert and Kaylin Miller Keyes are husband and wife. After nearly five years together, the Bachelor in Paradise alums tied the knot on September 23rd at Bayo Retreat in Meredith, Colorado. And not only do they have a new relationship status, but they both also have a new last name. The couple revealed to people that they are both changing their last names to Bell, Dean's late mother's maiden name, who died of breast cancer when he was a teenager. Many of their fellow Bachelor Nation friends were in attendance to see the two get hitched, including Ashley Iaconetti and her husband, Jared Haben, Becca Tilly, Ben Higgins, Wells Adams, and his wife, Sarah Highland, and many more. While the reality stars had already been wearing commitment rings for years, the two officially got engaged in Hawaii last October when Dean asked Kaylin after an extremely hard hike. Then, in December 2022, the 28-year-old former pageant queen asked Dean to marry her while they went horseback riding. Access Hollywood chatted with Kaylin in September 2019, and she opened up about how her boat challenges her in the best way possible. I'm very happy. I'm the happiest that I've ever been in a relationship, like honestly. Um, so yeah, it's great. <laughs> How are you enjoying the van life though? We need to know. <laughs> I love the van life. Okay, so I'm a pageant girl. People don't believe me, but there's, so I'm Miller and I'm Keys. There's two last names. There's two families involved, obviously, as, as every family. Um, but the Miller side of my family, Dean just met my grandparents today and he met the Miller side and they're very adventurous. They're hiking, they're, they live in like airstreams and you know, and so I'm kind of embracing that side of myself that I never had before and it's been great. I think Dean is just such a, a different breed of a human and the fact that like he just doesn't care what people think, doesn't care what people say. And that's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to explain how a relationship is different, but it's just like, I think Dean explained, Dean is different, and that kind of explains that our relationship is vastly different. <laughs> and Bachelor in Paradise was, you had your highs and you had your lows. How was it looking, watching that back for you? Um, watching back, so filming Paradise, I had the best experience of my life. You know, th yes, there were highs and lows, I cried a lot. Um, but I've learned so much about myself. I think I've grown so much as a person, and I settled on a Bachelor, and, and I'm like, I didn't grow at all. I did slightly, but like compared to how I grew up from paradise, I just, I feel like I'm a better person. I feel like I'm more aware of my flaws, um, of just the things that I want to change about myself to make myself better. And Dean challenges me as well and makes me a better person too. And then what's next for the two of you? Are we know Bachelor Nation is fast engagement. Is that going to be you guys? We're just figuring out our relationship. I just, I'm so excited about us. Like I'm, I'm seriously so happy. So it's just, it's fun to be able to share in our happiness finally. So that's exciting. Um, we have a lot of travel plans coming up. Dean told me if I didn't wear makeup to the reunion, he'd take me to the Maldives. I wear like a little bit of concealer, blush. He beautiful. Thank you. I, I felt very vulnerable, but he, he challenges me in that way too. So it's. Wait, I love that. Don't a guy <laughs> telling you not to wear makeup is amazing. And 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 as a, a girl who did pageants for so long, it's like I thought I needed I, like everything, lashes, eyeliner, and now it's like I can I can just. Be my, oh, thank you. He just has made me like accept myself. That same day. Dean also admitted to Axis that he regretted ever saying he wouldn't date anyone ever again from Bachelor Nation, as Caitlyn changed everything for the 32-year-old adventurer. A couple months ago, you told us that you would never date anyone yeah. from Bachelor Nation ever. Never again. It's, oh my God. And it's just like every day is compounded even more and more. Why? None of these Bachelor relationships are real. Not a single one of them. I was very convicted in my statement too. I was like, it's never gonna happen. It's fake, it's never gonna happen, and here you are. Okay, um, let me ask you a question. Have you ever said anything that you ended up not meaning or regretting? <laughs> because I think that that's just a human trait that we all possess, that you say things and you're like, well, maybe I was wrong when I said that, you know what I mean? I re the thing that I regret most about the statement that I made was I didn't mean to discredit the relationships that are really, really genuine in Bachelor Nation, like a Joe and Kendall, Adam and Raven, Ashley and Jared, of course. Um, there's a lot of very real relationships that I felt, in hindsight, very, like, bad for bad mouthing I guess but also just like they're really in love and when someone within that same circle says bad things about the overarching idea of relationships from Bachelor Nation 
it just looks bad on them and I felt bad for like the scrutiny that they were receiving from me because of that. But you are now part of the Bachelor Nation relationship right. though. Do you think your relationship with Kaylin is up there with all the ones that you've had? Um, in regards to what? Because Kaylin and, I, Kaylin and Maya's relationship is very new, of course, right? Like we're two and a half months into our relationship and things are going well. I don't know, like we're obviously not on like engagement level yet, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I think that that's like an appropriate and like realistic standard that we've kind of set for ourselves where like we're just going to like date regularly and hopefully something happens and if it does, great, if it doesn't then we're still, you know, individuals that are going to be okay without it. So, I made a very uh, uh, I've made a very concerted effort to just like keep a realistic idea. Like think about it, like when you're in real life you date for a year, two years, and then like then you begin to like realize and like think about what the future is going to hold. For the first 12 months of a relationship, like you're trying to figure out if you guys are compatible for like a lifelong partnership, right? And if you're not, then maybe like it carries on a little longer than you want it to. But if you are, then like then you begin to speak more seriously about everything. So, Bachelor does a really good job of condensing timelines, and it's great and it works. Obviously, like you see a lot of bachelors and bachelorettes that are married and have kids and are happy. Um, but you see a lot of failures as well, and it's because people rush into it. And so, I think what we're doing is we're focusing on what we want and if it works for us and kind of like forgetting about what people want from us, you know? So we're taking our time, we're happy, and that's all that's important, I think, at the moment.